Hey, welcome back to our reading today. We're in Lamentations 4, verses 14 to 16, and let's see what that says. They wandered blind in the streets. They have defiled themselves with blood so that no one would touch their garments. They cried out to them, Go away, unclean. Go away, go away. Do not touch us. When they fled and wandered, the, those among the nations said, They shall no longer dwell here. The face of the Lord scattered them. He no longer regards them. The people do not respect the priests, nor show favor to the elders. So here's the picture. Babylon has come. God withdrew his protection because of the unfaithfulness of the people. They came in. They, they overran the whole land of Judah. Jerusalem in particular, the capital city, has been, has been crushed and destroyed. Babylon uh, was, was mighty. Now Jeremiah looks out and he surveys the, all the wreckage and he sees where the people are, the people that are left. I mean, you know, many have been taken away into captivity into Babylon. Others have been just, just killed. There's been an enormous devastation. And he looks at that and he says, you know, what, what do we see here? The face of the Lord scattered them. You know, people don't respect the priests anymore. They don't respect the elders. Why? Because, they, remember, the main institutions of the kingdom, the, the kings, the princes, the, the priests, the, the prophets, uh, all these main institutions, they all were corrupted. They all had gotten into a situation of corruption. And then God, he didn't want to abandon his people. So what he does, he allows this extraordinary chastening. Babylon is allowed to come in. It's even sent to come in and, and devastate the people. And all the... All the leaders who were unfaithful, they've all been kind of removed from their perch, you know, their perch of respect and power and influence and position and authority. That's all been broken, broken to pieces now. And so we have this picture here again at verse 16. The people do not respect the priests. They don't show favor to the elders. Yes, you can preach smooth things today. You can give smooth teachings today. But what happens when the world gets into a tight place like the kingdom of Judah is in here? Are you going to be loved and respected and appreciated at that time? Or are you going to be wandering around looking for a raisin to eat? Uh, that's the case we have here, is the leaders who were left that led according to the common, easy leading, those people are not appreciated by the ones that are left. Those people have been removed from their perch by God himself, and God scattered them. The face of the Lord scattered them. He doesn't regard them, and they don't regard, the people don't regard them either. Hey, if you're in the leader kind of a slot in God's church somewhere, this is a time to be rethinking, to be praying, to be coming up higher, to be standing for the defense of, of God's people and helping us to make unpopular decisions because we're in a time when we need to make dramatic changes because we're being dramatically overrun by a world that's going downhill at, at an enormous pace. Now's the time when we can shine. Now's the time when there's a lot of people that need help and hope. But what do we have? Uh, we're just kind of blending along with the crowd. God help us to go and do better than that. Why would we be wandering in the streets and being blind when God has given us the insight of Scripture, when God has given us the insight of his prophetic help so that we could know what to do and what Israel ought to do in a time like this? Let's pray. Your Father in heaven, we want to learn these lessons. They've learned, been learned the hard way by the kingdom of Judah, and now here we are in the 2020s. Help us, Lord, to be right. Help us to be your representatives now on planet Earth in this crazy time, this intense time when the world needs Jesus like it's never needed it before. Oh, Lord, now, Lord, help us and then work for your people. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. So God be with you today as you come up, come up onto higher ground.